again? What up, friends? More or less. We're back with part two. We're about to become the shark's dinner. Dude, this is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. That's what she said. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Find a way in? I thought Conrad told them about the back tail of the plane. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third What's in command. up with the attitude? Fresh and eager cabin boy. I still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Eh, why not? She gotta loosen up a little and stop being a stuck up bit, you know? Sure, why not? Now I like her, bro. No reason to feel anxiety 24 7, girl. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Oh, Conrad, you don't ask nobody that question. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. She looks like a girl that would help you spend your money. For sure. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. <laughs> like she made a lot of old men part with their money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. I don't know what's up with her, but she acts shady sometimes. What? She's trying to hide something, dog. Wonder what it is, man. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Girl, relax. Why are you worried all the time? Wait a second, go back. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. The shark ate them. Rip. Oh, binoculars. Time to spot some half naked mermaids. <laughs> That's a lot of fog building up. When the clouds go dark like that, that's a sign of a storm. Let's go to the lower deck. Can we open this door now? Yo! What do we have in here? Is that a bed sheet? Ooh, another painting! Why do I keep these around? Because they're antique, maybe? I want to see it again. Was that Conrad jumping on the boat? I can't confirm it though, because it happens real quick. Wait a second. We got something in this drawer. I want to know what it is. Hmm. 
Bro, that's a lot of reading. Dear Miss Dubois, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds a reminder of 24 grand with a sum of 3k payable by 1st of August 2019. So Fles is in debt. This amount has been uh, overdue since that date and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payment or discussion to reconsolidate your date. That's not good. Unless the outstanding amount is received by the 30th August 2019, we will have no choice but to begin foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel Duke of Milan. Please act accordingly. She's not a fake it till you make it. Right? And I don't know why she got that attitude if she needs money. By the way, which one is your favorite character so far? I like Fliss and Brad. Oh, I can talk to him. Yo, yeah, what up, dog? You look sad. Yo, who are these What's people? That about? Dismissive? Fishing boat? I don't think so. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? We need to be careful. They can kill us, take our organs and feed us to the fishes. Uh, worried? This feels... off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Yeah, keep your mouth shut, Chad, or you're gonna get us into trouble. No! Angry? Get out of here? Worried? I'm not gonna tell them about the divers. Hey, you get out of you here! Crazy? What do you think you're doing? They're turning back. They're not happy about that. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We Look can at take our boat. This man, it's not <laughs> a problem. What do you think? Like uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, stop. What are you oh, doing? Oops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot. You you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right. You guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. You're flexing on the wrong people, dude. Uh. Yo, by the way, wasn't this the guy I saw in the picture? Holding the gun? That's him, right? I hope these two are still alive. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. In the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. South Pacific wreck site. The turret. We can get in through there. Be careful, the sharp metal bar. Don't touch. Oh! Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. <laughs> Especially with the shark roaming around the area. Uh, ladies first? <laughs> yes, finally we're swimming. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Hold up, dude. What happened to her, dude? I want to view it again. She looks in pain. Did she get shot? Or okay, Alex, I'm coming.
Jump Scare Inc. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? That would be the end then. Flippant or concerned? I wanna know what that is, so live a little. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? gonad? Seriously? I'm autistical now? Am I dead? What? What's happening? Live a little edge The funny thing is that they like to live on the edge and when they get stuck or something they start crying, you know what I'm saying? Help me, I regret it. Too late. Alex warned you, Julia. That's a big ass octopus. Ugh. Japanese trademark. This is not looking good. That was so close! I wasn't expecting the skill check. <sighs> Breathe, you okay? Yeah, live on the edge, right? Live on the edge. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance, you get that. I know what I'm doing, okay? Shut yo. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. We almost had a problem. Searching in progress. Search area one clear, two clear, three clear. They're on their way to help out a ship. That's all we got on that piece of paper. That's a bullet. That's a one thick bullet, man. Yo, Alex. Check this out. A shell on the wrecked B-29 found lodged in the plane. The wrecked B-29 was shot down. All of these are secrets? Holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Why would he flip? This plane was shot during the war. What's special about that? Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Missing lifeboat. A lifeboat is missing from the B-29 plane. It had been launched during the plane's mission. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Are we supposed to be surprised by these finds? Uh, you hear that? Fuck, bro. Out. I wanted to interact with the thing to the right, dude. Imagine that guy coming back to life and being like, Say hello to my little friend. Oh. Whoa, whoa. I, I feel a nugget in my pants right now. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Well, life gives you a tentacle coming at your face. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Bro, they nailed the underwater fill. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> she gonna get herself killed eventually. Watch her bring the whole thing on us. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Freaking Julia! <laughs> This is like taking a kid to a arcade for the first time. Good God. <sighs> Watch him come back to life. <laughs> you looking beautiful there, sir. He's holding something. No, this is sad. He was holding a pendant with his wife picture, probably. 
before the plane crashed. Wow. What the hell happened here? In the look of things, they knew they were goners. Yep. Oh shit. We gotta get out of here now. Get out of there, hurry up. We don't want to die. <gasps> no! I thought Alex's arm was gone. Now there's a shark? Yeah, come at me, shark! Face palm. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Trust me, all sharks are interested oh. in some lean human meat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. Uh, I, I don't I guess. He's trying to propose, boys. Oh. I called it in the first episode. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, what if they let me pick the answer? Me? Should I say no? <laughs> we almost died. Are you shitting me? <laughs> You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh. Okay, come out, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. I want to be a dickhead and just shock him. But again, I don't want to ruin the mood of the trip. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> I want to know how it would have went if I shocked them. Now I need to play through the game right, again. Handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? I want to propose to a girl while diving, Fliss, and when she Julia. puts the ring on, I'm going to feed her to the shark. <laughs> Did they kidnap them? Wait, Julia, we got to decompress here. No! Oh, damn! What the fuck? We got to get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Decompress? Uh, I'm frightened. I gotta go check it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <laughs> what would happen if she doesn't decompress? This is taking way too long, dude. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Oh, they're okay. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. But I saw an explosion. You're not gonna talk about it? There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What's up with that other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Fishing guys? Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is shady to me. what you guys find. Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Fliss is like, this ditch. Hey, long time no see you, brother. I need you to tell me the rest of the story, my boy. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Oh, you're doing well. When someone tells you you're doing good, that means you're doing bad. Stop lying. Ooh, it's nighttime already. Let the spooks begin. 
So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Cheerful. Assertive? I'll stick with my own name. It's not break his heart, okay? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. She's pretty, dude. When she doesn't do those extreme facial animations. Let's plan it together. Now you're speaking my language. Look at that Take face, lessons. what? Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. Her facial animations so are weird, dude. No. Bro, man, the F up, bro. Stop being insecure. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. We'll let him enjoy his moment. The second you said yes, before shits go down. Future rolling out ahead of us. Bro, I wanna be done with this petty conversation. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Their acting is soulless. Hey, you seen my brother? Especially Julia and Alex. Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Instantly cock blocked. Disapproving, frustrated. Give it a rest, Conrad. What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. That was a little bit harsh. But the man is an, he's an adult, she's an adult. Let them have a good time, you know? Even though I was the one who picked the answer. <laughs> Alright, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Let's go get it. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? It's in a case in the lower Honestly. deck, right? Carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dive? I wanted it to be. Is it this one? Pacific Ocean. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? I didn't know they found the treasure so map. Think, coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow, you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. We didn't take it, it was floating in the water. 
Nobody knows. Calm down. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? Ouch. No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has she an essence. She knows something. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Supportive Skeptical. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. <laughs> Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. From a magazine and you think it's the true? Lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shut up, bro. The woman answers. I live here. we go again with the, the weird Julia animations. My are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then, it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. And this is a true story? Yeah, changing the murder weapon, dude. Uh, ow! Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. A lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so... Who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. Really? No closet. way. <laughs> huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> so gross. Ah, hey, oh, super twist. Nice. Bro, that's not scary. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Appreciative, disappointed. Yeah, that wasn't scary. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. How could they all sleep and feel safe? There should be at least one of them on guard. What? That's evil kid doing pizza deliveries. <laughs> Oh 
Oh shit. Oh. I just got an achievement. Oh. Set yo. At least I fought back. They got all of us. That sucks. Who the F are these people, dude? They got Fliss as well. Yo! That's the freaking guy from earlier. You scumbag. I knew there were pirates. She's looking at Conrad like you mother. Uh, and gag Alex first. Gag Fliss. And Gagging People Simulator. 2019. You okay? I think so. Uh oh. We ate the tapes. Please don't hurt us. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! No, please. Almost free. Girls are flexible, bro. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? How's the others keep getting you worse? The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off. Why does he still call them Dead fishermen? Great. They're pirates. And the good news? Doofus. I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. We're in a lot of danger. Investigate or anti? Hold up, I wanna investigate first. Just in case they come back, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna rot in a cell. She knows them? <laughs> oh! Let's go! What's up, bro? Ugh, hit him in the balls. I'll be back for you later. Yeah, I'll see you later, bro. Uh oh. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. He's got the deepest Let's voice ever. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Don't be the white knight. Especially in a situation like this. Pick your fights, my boy. Knuckle to the face doesn't feel good. You know how to treat a woman. What do you want, bro? What do you fuckers want? Bro, I'm asking you. You tell me what you want, bro. You don't have to do this. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Ah, I want to tell him to go F himself, but... Uh, Please stop, just stop, bro. Just stop, man. We finish with 
him later. We'll get our payback later, believe me, boys. Be on your best behavior, little man. God, wash your face, man. Get off me, bro. Get off. Get off me. Ah. Uh. Yo, Brad. I forgot about him. How did Brad hide? I saw him sleeping. And if he heard something, why did he not woke his friends? That's super weird. He's okay, Julia. He just got a couple of bruises, that's it. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it, let her go! Now he knows you untied yourself, you dumbass. Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. I feel like they know Fliss. Not gonna lie. Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. Alright. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. <sighs> Yo, Brad is our only hope. Fuck, motherfuckers. What the freak was that, the curator? You okay, Julia? Hey, hey. are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. They'll it's buy okay. you another one. At least they didn't take your virginity, you know? <laughs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Why is he counting? Six, seven, eight. Eight seconds. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, yeah. he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Uh, if one of us gets the boat, the rest may not survive you know so let's just fight back these fuckers need to pay we gotta take them down they can try to fight back but if we had the gun they'd be forced to surrender seven seconds i can get out through the window we gotta break these off first too loud they'll hear it we're gonna break them during the thunder <gasps> good call i climb out the window climb around the side and hit them from there we'll take them from the other side don't leave us here okay okay Let's she do doesn't it. trust her brother. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Go. Come on, I missed it. What are you thinking? What the hell, guys? I suck at these quick time events. Conrad, go to the other side. We'll hit them together. Hurry up, bro. Let's go. Don't slip and fall in the water. Don't fuck yourself. Tommy, now! Pick that shit, man. Pick the knife. Oh. Let's go, baby. What are you gonna do? Shoot him? Drop it, Buster. 
Put your gun down, bro. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Amateur hour? Why is she trying to side with them? I wouldn't be surprised if Fliss is with them. Because she needs money and shit. Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Shut up. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me or sir. He's baiting me. Ah, uh, I escaped. Ah. Uh. Let's freaking go. No, I missed. <laughs> no. Get back there now. Are you kidding me? Throw him in with the rest. No. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. These quick time events are so fast, dude. Sit down. I'm so sorry. Over there. Well, at you least we tried. Right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. C'est mon bateau. Ferme là, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. We got a freaking traitor on this boat. Someone told them about the treasure map. This is gonna get interesting. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? going on what is this a moment of silence what the hell man you should have escaped when you had the chance yeah i get it i tried right. bro Shut the it's not fuck that up. easy we were only talking there is no harm in just talking you want to talk keep the volume down i'm just gonna say it fliss has got to be in on this she and these guys they travel in the same waters She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I'm feeling the same. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. She looks guilty. Enraged. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole. Damn. You're all in this together. This was a trap and you set us that up. That asshole. What a cork in it. No! Again, Mr. Skill Chick. This is gonna Six be skill. fun. All of you. you, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Stop it, Conrad. You don't want to end up dying. I doubt how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Anything fishy. And there will be consequences. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Uh, ask for help. How bad is the storm? Let's not risk hey, it, dude. Uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. 
Uh, reassuring. Nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. So slow. My reaction is slow. I would have died if you didn't save us. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Help! Help her, man! Hey! Move it! Now! Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Why is she snitching? Brad is under the bunk bed. Uh, optimistic. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. For God, he's not a good Brad's swimmer. A He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. I hope he survives. Man, this storm is getting worse. Yo, we stumble upon the ship from the prologue. Oh, the antenna broke. We won't be able to call for help. Good night. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. You trying to jinx me, curator? <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah, I would like to know what's going to happen, or at least have an idea. Curious. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Huh. Elaborate. Tell us more. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Is he trying to say that Flitz is a traitor? La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! They're trying to move the boat close to the ladder. Okay. 
Now we won't be able to get anywhere without that piece. Go. This is the place where people are gonna lose their minds. Nope, no thanks. Go on, keep moving. I'm gonna have to stop the video right here. Thank you guys for watching as always. If you enjoyed this, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.